This is a revision video for atmospheric pressure and this is for triple students only. Here I've got a sketch graph of pressure on the y-axis and altitude on the x-axis. Altitude means how far above the Earth's surface at sea level they are. So for example an altitude of 4 kilometres means we're up in the air above sea level by 4,000 metres. So we can see from this graph that at 0 kilometres, so at sea level, so basically ground level at the sea on the Earth, we've got an atmospheric pressure of 100 kilopascals, 100,000. Here at 12 kilometres above the Earth's surface, we've got a very low pressure of 2 or 3 kilopascals. So what this shows is as altitude increases, pressure decreases. I'm going to go into more reasons as to why in a minute. First thing I want to show is that this graph is inversely proportional. So inversely proportional means that as one number doubles, the other number halves. And we can prove this by seeing what the constant is. So for example here, 1 times 100 kilopascals equals 100,000 a constant of 100,000. Here at 5, 5 times 20 kilopascals equals 100,000. But we need to do it three times to prove that it's correct at all points, not just at two points. Here we've got 10 and 10. So 10 times 10 kilopascals equals 100,000. The constant's always the same, therefore it must be inversely proportional. So going back to this key statement of altitude increasing, pressure decreasing, why is that? So let's look at the Earth's surface at sea. Let's, let's imagine a person standing at sea level and let's say that is 10 kilometers of altitude 10 kilometers of altitude obviously this person has been drawn absolutely massively just like our pressure in a liquid the deeper we go the more mass of particles we've got above as a column so this is the sea we're above the sea level we've got all this air, we've got all these air molecules pushing down, causing that pressure down on the person or the object. All that mass leads to a greater weight, greater weight equals greater force, so increased mass, increased force, and pressure equals force divided by area. So we get an increased pressure. Don't forget that increased force has come from the increased weight from mass times gravity. However, if we were to put that person floating in the air or up a mountain, so let's, let's exaggerate this to prove the point. We've got Everest. Let's say Everest is 8 kilometres tall. Someone stood at the top of Everest. This time, the altitude, they've only got 2 kilometres. They've only got 2 kilometres of air above them. So we've got less mass. We've got less mass of air above them. Therefore, we've got less weight. Remember, weight is mass times gravity, if we've got less weight, we've got a lesser force onto that person or that object. So we've got lesser force, we've got pressure equals force divided by area. Because that force is decreased, we get a decreased pressure as altitude increases. Don't forget that pressure is caused from gas particles colliding at 90 degrees, so gas particle collides produces a force at 90 degrees. This is the same 
for these scenarios as well. The greater the column of air above, the greater the mass, the greater the weight, the greater the force, the increased pressure. The lesser the column of air above, decrease the mass of air above, which decreases the weight, which decreases the force. If we decrease the force, we decrease the pressure as altitude increases.